right, let's turn. Save the stomp for a dire moment. Now it's a dire moment! Welcome to another Path of Titties Titans video! Today, we're playing as Acrocanthosaurus, and we're just gonna call him Fat Crow, just because, you know, real easy, low-hanging fruit for a joke right there. And, uh, let's just get right into it, let's create the character, and in we go! Now, if you weren't aware, Acrocanthosaurus is one of my personal favorite dinosaurs, and, uh, okay, I, I can't keep this bit up any longer. You know what we're actually doing. We're playing the, um, better Acro mod. Granted, um, it's a pretty, uh, pretty low bar, you know, considering what the, uh, standard has been for a while. You know, I'm kind of on the fence with this one. I've tried it out a little bit, and there are things that I really like about this thing, and then there's other things that are just kind of mod slop, you know? He looks a little silly looking forwards, but let's be real, what dinosaur doesn't? His skull shape is very interesting. It's like a triangle, that is not an Acrocanthosaurus skull. Thankfully, there's other subspecies. Uh, that's an exposed teeth variant. Uh, I'm not gonna use that. Like, there's this one, where it's got like more of an actual Acro skull. This thing has 15 subspecies, by the way. In my personal opinion, I don't care for the fact that it has this many. I'll, I'll show you what I mean. You know, we've got this one, obviously. Looks like an Acro. Um, then we've got this. Which is more of like a, a Giganotosaurus. This is Kark to me. Then you've got this one, way too edgy. Can someone bring me a bridge that I can jump off of? Um, anyway, this thing, this is actually another Karkarodontosaurus. It's very skinny. Um, oh, there's a second edgy acro? This one's cool. I like this one a lot. Um, this one is good. Another Karkarodontosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> um, another acro, finally, um, and that's kind of my root issue with this mod so far. Um, this is cool, uh, this one's also very nice. This one looks like the, uh, the Operation Genesis Acrocanthosaurus, actually. We've got another Giganotosaurus-inspired one. We have, finally, another acro, and then we're back to the, back to the default. Um, I think what I'm gonna use is this one because it keeps the stylization of the mod while also having a more accurate skull. My biggest issue with it aesthetically is just the fact that like, what's the point of it being an acro? There's other things in this game like uh, Packy here, who has like subspecies inspired by other species, which is all fine and dandy, but you can still tell it's inspired and it's not, oh, the rain's stopping, thank you. Uh, you could still tell that it's like a Packy. You know? But yeah, I just feel like the all these subspecies just make it kind of confusing and just like, what's the point of it being an acro, you know? I feel like you should have just called this the Carnosaur mod or the Carcharodontosaur mod, you know? Brave Eye. Eh, fuck it. When I was playing the other day and I saw an acro and I was like, oh, that's a Kark. That's a Giga, and then I got close, I was like, oh, it's an Acro. So I feel like that's one of the weaknesses of the mod. It just is hard to identify, and oh, speaking of weaknesses, it's very slidey. His run animation is interesting. I have played as this thing as an adult for a little bit, so I know, like, the basic, uh, the basics of this guy. Ooh, what the? Why does this sound like a kitten? Oh, it's so gross. <laughs> a lot of the baby mods, not, not even baby, yeah, yeah, baby mods. They have really freaky sounds in this game. It sounds like Isle's baby Tenanto. As far as the skins go, there's some bangers in here, and then there's some that are not bangers. This one is not good, in my opinion. Um, the, the speckles look a little weird. Um, but then you've got stuff like this. This is neat. It seems like they traded out albino for leucistic instead. Interesting, interesting. And uh, the melanistic isn't really melanistic, but you know, it still looks good. This one, the loon is very nice, I will say. Honestly, I'm either gonna go melanistic or leucistic. I like both of these. Oh, and just as a fair warning, if you play as this guy, okay, I'm pressing W now.
that's how long it takes to stand up from sleeping. It takes like 10 seconds. Um, so fair warning, you could get so griefed as this thing if you get caught off guard while sleeping. So uh, just, uh, you know, just mind yourself, I guess. <sighs> okay, I am back, everybody. We are almost adult, and sorry if I sound a little bit tired right now. I had quite a day. I did some, uh, I did some pickleball today. Um, I, well, first I went to get paddles for the pickleball game, then I went and played pickleball. Um, pickleball is really stupid. It's like lame tennis, but it's kind of fun. Um, and then, uh, I went to Goodwill, and I've never actually been to a Goodwill before. Um, they didn't have much, but I bought this little whale plushie, like, tiny little thing for, like, $3.20, so that was cool. Also, they had a lot of dinosaur clothes there, but they were all for children. So, um, that's what my life consists of. And then I met someone at a coffee shop to, uh, sign a thing for somebody's surprise birthday party, which is tomorrow, actually, so, uh, I've been having a life, which is crazy. I feel like a woman talking about my day right now. No offense to any ladies who may be watching. Anyway, Acrocanthosaurus time. We have just hit adult, so all of our abilities are unlocked. This thing has a lot of abilities, but it's not like a crazy amount to the point where it's like overkill. Obviously doing tail attack, uh, the others are just balanced tail and swift tail. I would rather just have tail attack, personally. The only thing I don't really use tail attack on is like Ceratosaurus because armor tail is amazing. I'm like, and I'm hearing a spino in the back, interesting. Holy Bible paragraph, this is like a leftist meme. I do think Frenzy's the better one because I have tested it out a little bit. Let's see, stomp three times in a row to onslaught enemies nearby you, dealing AoE with each stomp. The AoE radius do lower damage, additionally each stomp deals a self stack deals a stacking debuff that slows your opponent on each successful hit by 2.5%, stacking up to 6 times in total. This slowing debuff lasts for 25 seconds, cannot be used while you are bone broken. Sure, I'll enable that. Oh, this is the LARPiest dinosaur of it. Let there be carnage. <laughs> what is this, PCE? Carnage comes home. The Magna Tyrannus. <laughs> yes. Well, I'm sure that's the worst of the LARPiness. Oh. Raise your head held high to the heavens and bellow the roar of your ancestors to increase the speed of all members in your group by 6% for 30 seconds. Can be stacked up to two times. You must be grouped to use this ability. What ancestors? All of... Acro's relatives are in the game. They're all his subspecies. Quarterback's quarry. Let's get ready to rumble. Ready yourself up for combat and channel your roar. While channeling, I am not reading the rest of that. Stamina sever, another debuff. Uh, this is another debuff. I'm not reading these. I think I have a basic understanding of what they do. They gotta streamline this. This is way too much to look at. They could definitely probably word this better. As far as senses go, these are actually pretty tame. Uh, yeah, I just like damage. I'm going damage. And then the headbutt, uh, stack 8% damage mitigation, um, and then hides. I, Texas side, uh, there's also an Oklahoma hide somewhere. Uh, yeah, Oklahoma. It's based on, like, I think the state's acre was founded. But this is just straight up the Texas hide. Um, increases armor and release my inner Chuck Norris. How does this relate to Acrocanthosaurus exactly? My high prey drive grants me 6% attack damage and makes me 20% more resistant to knockback. Interesting. Guess you could call that a high libid acro. Uh, I'll use this one too as another damage increase, so sure, we'll go full on damage. Not really sure on the skin just yet. Uh, mm, I like melanistic, I do. I also like leucistic though. That's not bad i do like this um it's a little too vibrant for what i want to go for i think i'm gonna do leucistic yeah i'm doing leucistic let's try this out this isn't what i would normally go for but i'm down to give it a shot and here we go in our 10 second get up animation all right now we can actually take a look at everything does it slide it slides a little bit looks like sprint does slide a bit but it's not a bad animation the trot's a little weird 
the way the tail moves and everything. It collects very slow, too. I wouldn't mind if they sped that up, personally. Let's see, as for roars, we have one call. Very long animation. That seems to be a common theme with this thing. Two call. Very friendly. Three call. <laughs> the, uh, the, the little belly drum thing he does is funny. Uh, four call. Oh, I like that one a lot, actually. That's cool. Uh... Generic call. Yeah, just a typical hiss. Yawn. Ooh. That's cool. I like that. And then basic bite is this. This is tail whip. Tail whip looks strong. It looks a little robotic, but at least it has sound. Because there's a lot of mods that don't give their tail whips tail whip attacks like a good visual indicator like the whip is really wimpy and it doesn't make a sound but this you can actually tell when he tail whips um this is the headbutt pretty basic um this is a claw attack that's kind of cool yeah it's slow but it's cool i wonder how useful it is I think that's like the stamina one. And then we have this Frenzy Stomp. Which is pretty neat if I do say so myself. So yeah, so far my general consensus on this mod is that it has some really strong points, but also some really weak points at the same time. And I don't know what my actual opinion is on it. Actually... Just looking at it right now, totally off topic. It kind of looks like the uh, Chased by Dinosaurs Giganotosaurus with this skin. In fact, you could probably make the Chased by Dinosaurs Giganotosaurus because <laughs> this thing is just every Carnosaur that ever existed on top of being just an acro. Right, I don't really think I want to go into Impact Crater, I'm going to be honest. Uh, yeah, what the hell, I'm going to go in. Huh, seems to be an acro fighting a Quetz over here. It's been ages since I've seen a Quetz. Especially since Hatzig released. Oh, of course this guy's using the edgy acro. <laughs> uh, I hate it. One thing's for sure. Oh, he's dead. R.I.P. Quetz, I guess. He couldn't handle the edge of those spines, really. I want to hunt something, but I am not going to fight three Eotrikes as this thing. That's just kind of me asking for death at that point. I'm gonna see what I can find out in Grand Plains. A Giganotosaurus. This could be fun. <coughs> oh, heavens. Excuse me. Must be allergic. I'll totally fight this guy. Does he want to go? Looks like he may want to go. You know, this dinosaur is a LARPy dinosaur, so I am just gonna LARP and we're circling each other. Oh, this is badass. Dude, I'm giving into the LARPing right now. Go if you want to go. Yeah, he wants to go. Okay, okay. Um, I should probably use my roar. All right. I want to see if I can do this. First, mitigate the damage. Um, this isn't going well. Use the stomp attack. Hmm. This isn't very fun. Uh, why does this thing have a three second cooldown on the tail whip? Come on guys, keep your mods in line with vanilla. Maybe I should back up here, not gonna lie. Oh, my god, hello. I think I'm gonna call this. I'm gonna keep it real. <laughs> oh, more acros. That's nice. Okay, Giga, I, I get the point, you won. Come on, dude. Um, does Giga have more stamina than me? That's nice. You know, I never did like Giganotosaurus. That actually kind of made me angry. I, I didn't like how he moved away from my stomps. 
He should have just, like, stayed there and kind of took it. Later. From what I've seen and what I've played of this thing, I definitely don't think it's overpowered or anything, which is always good. I think it's probably just held back by the fact that it's so, like, metagamey, and it's just not really straightforward. That's one of my biggest pet peeves with mods in this game, is when they try to be way too overcomplex. And, like, don't get me wrong, I would love it if this game had a lot more depth to it, but, you know... I also believe in matching your mods to vanilla. Obviously, you can always put your own little unique spin on it, because one, you literally can. Two, all the vanilla dinosaurs, or most of the vanilla dinosaurs, have a unique spin to them. But, uh, I don't know. It just seems very heavily reliant on debuffing. But I also just don't understand how to play the thing. Um, and that needs to go away, that little roll, because my god. You will get cheesed so hard by a freaking Latin or a Deinonychus or something. Or anything, really. My dude here is just too fat to save his own life, apparently. Although, to be honest, I did hurt that Giga quite a bit. Giga's scars don't show until he's, like, really low on health as far as I'm aware. So, if I had just played a little better, I probably could have won that. 6% attack damage and 20% knockback resistance? Or... 5% bleed and 5% uh, attack. I'm going to go with the 5% bleed and 5% attack because 1% damage, not really sure how much that's really going to matter. And then that extra 5% bleed is big, especially considering that we are using our 18% um, bleed buff to call as well as our 35% more bleed uh, thing. Uh, sense, you know what I mean? Look, Capro... Hello, buddy. Here, let's take him out. Why not? Am I faster? Kind of. He turns better than me. Hmm. Interesting hitbox. Might want to look into that. Okay, so he could just go under my tail. That's nice. There we go. Hit him with the tail. Alright. He seems pretty hurt. Yeah, Capro's not super tanky as far as I'm aware. Ooh, try to do a double bite on me. Oh, it's you guys again. I think. That might be the same game. No, 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 no. No, no. You're not... Are you kidding me? I can't get through there? Wish this game made sense. Where did he go? This game is so bad. Don't do it. Don't do it or you're fucked. Surprisingly, he's not dead from that. Whoa, his tail. My god. I think he just used a charge because he got a massive speed boost there. Yeah, I can't really catch this guy. I'm already winded. I'm gonna switch over to this. The damage one again. Just then. Hmm, another acro. Interesting. Hello. You're ugly. Oh, are we really doing this? Come on, guys. T two of you? Man, players on these servers. Really lame. Let me tell you. Thank you. What? 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 Oh, come on, game. Guarantee you these fucks call themselves, like, population control or something. Did he just really victory roar? Okay, you know what? Let's, let's do funny. Let's be funny. Um... Pike now? King Neptune, there we go. Well, the good thing is, at least they looked like Acros and weren't like Karks or Gigas or something. All right, let's see if we can grief these guys. Why not? That's so funny. 
That's just unfair. There wasn't even anything he could do. Granted, he was damaged, but... And here we go, he's gonna say, I got you on recording, Mr. Pike, no. I got me on recording, too. I'm sorry, I'm just tired. I don't want to put up with this bullshit for now. There it is. RB Pike, no. A few minutes later. Hmm. I say we try to beat up another acro. He's an edgy acro, too, so I kind of want to take this guy out. Alright, let's go for it. Hmm. Okay, he's got tail whip enabled. Get out of the way. Uh-oh, I'm stuck. We're kind of cooking here. I'm just kind of comboing headbutt and bite. Okay, we can do this. What's he doing? Has he given up? He's taking a lot of hits, that's for sure. There we go. Smacked him in the face. Okay. Um, I don't know how effectively I played that. It felt like I didn't play very effectively there, to be honest. But it was, it was better than my last fight showings, that's for sure. 16 paranoia filled days later. Alright, we are back on our acro. Quite some time has passed since uh, the last footage that you just watched. This is maybe like a week later. And, uh, you know, obviously not much really went well <laughs> in those couple runs. I was playing and I ran into some people in... Uh, Pesky Cord, who were playing Acro, and I got a pack going with them, and they asked, oh, Pesky, are you recording? And I said no, right? And I actually was. But guess what? I forgot to record my audio, so the footage was kind of useless. And to be fair, we got destroyed by Mod Slop anyway, so there wasn't really anything worth watching. It was just Packies and Capros, and not just any Packies, it's like the, the new Packy mod that like this bone break and it's fatter than the base game packy. Come on, collect a little bit faster, buddy. You could do it, I believe in you. There we go, just uh, let's collect this growth here. And we'll be adult in a few seconds quicker now. Okay, what I think I'm gonna do is I am gonna upgrade to a blue skin. I think that's the way to go. As you all know, I have basically trademarked the color blue. It's just my color. Uh, no one else can use it but me. So if I power up to blue, then guess what? We'll probably just end up winning. There we go. Blue eyes, blue everything. Literally blue everything on this guy. Um, should I do an orange crest? Nah, I gotta commit. Sorry, PC looking acro, but you didn't do me well. We killed like one other acro with you, and that's it. And then we killed a second acro with a pike now, but that's not an acro, that's a pike no. So let's try and slide our way to victory, shall we? I wish there was a feature where you could like pause your skin shedding because this skin with the little blue speckles in it looks really cool. Oh, I'm hearing a capro. I would really rather not fight that little pit bull croc. Those things are really strong. Oh, don't do it. Don't do it. Speaking of sliding, he's sliding like crazy as well. Alright, let's take a rest in this bush. Hopefully nobody griefs us. I wonder, should I get ready to rumble? Ready myself up for combat and channel my roar? Should I raise my head high to the heavens? Or should I let there be carnage? I'm honestly still thinking I should let carnage come home. Part of the reason I say that is because my dinosaur is blue. My entire ability bar is a variation of red or orange, so if I equip the uh, the quarterback one, then it's just, it, it messes it up. Blue dinosaur, red bar, you know? I don't want a red bar with a little bit of blue in it. Otherwise, that'll cause me to lose every fight. I'm getting really deep in the superstitions with this thing, but you gotta understand, I have had such a losing streak with this fat motherfucker right here. I need to cling to whatever superstition I can get. Let's see, those are uh, DB slop mods with a T-Rex, not fighting that. You know, I don't even wanna try going into Impact Crater 
because that will end terribly for me. But you know what? I'm just going to look what's in here anyway. Argent and an Eotrike. And a Capro and a City Patty. Yeah, the Eotrike is enough to make me nope out. Come on, fatty, walk faster. Oh, I could fight a PT Rex, actually. That could be fun. I kind of want to give it a shot. Fellas, I think I'm going to try it. He's eyeing me up, though. Oh, let's go for it. Why not? Fucking dip, 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 dip. All right. All right, we can do this. Is he faster than me? No, he's not. Okay, good. All right, let's roar. Channel our roar with our head held high to the heavens. Oh shit. Oh shit, he does a lot of damage. Oh my god, we turn so slow. Oh my god, come on. Okay, you're just lame. Um, I'm pretty hurt, clearly. Um, oh wait, you don't have any... I should run. Okay. So far, not so good. But, if we hold our head high to the heavens, maybe we have a shot. Um, I don't know how his stamina is compared to mine. So... Okay. Smacked him in the face, he's actually looking pretty scarred. This will be very close, that's for sure. Uh-oh, that's not good. He's trying to do his ambush. I'm just gonna walk away. Okay, I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing, buddy. Oh, I, god damn it, I forgot- it whips to the- why is it lift- whip to the right? Oh my god. Come on. Come on. Surely. How? How? That was my tail! God damn it with this thing! Did she really victory? We're okay, we're, we're getting somewhere. I don't want to give up on this thing yet. Oh, this actually isn't a bad spawn either. You know what? I'll take it. Man, if I hadn't messed up that tail whip, if I, if I had just remembered it whipped to the right instead of the left, I would have probably won that. Damn. I'm surprised I got him so low there, to be perfectly honest. Like, it felt like I didn't really hit him all that- Oh, uh, I did get a lot of headshots on him, actually. Ugh, I just wish this thing didn't have so much, like, jank and, you know, uh, sloppiness to it. Just the, uh, oh, well, the damage reduction and the blood sever and the stamina sever and the piss and shit sever. Sever it all, and it's like, oh, please, just let me raw DPS everything. Or just raw bleed it. I don't mind bleed buff calls, but, like, when you make everything so, like, buff-reliant, and then it's like, there's so many builds you could do on the hide, it's like too many, and it's like, I appreciate the customization, but god damn, just have it a little bit more streamlined. I just feel like this fella here trades utility and overall usability for, like, hyper-specific playstyles. But I really don't want to give up on it. Oh, you're kidding me. I, I, I can't get through here? Seriously? F fucking Alderaan, Matt. Oh, also, guys, have you seen the, uh, the new Lambiosaurus TLC? Um, Lambio's not a dinosaur that I play often in this game. I have, like, one video on Lambio. It went from when he first came out from, like, I don't know, three-ish years ago? Two years ago? Three? Two? I don't really remember. And Lambio's getting this huge TLC update. The model's so good, everybody. Like, I don't play Lambio, like, ever, right? But Lambio's actually pretty good. I played him maybe, like, a week ago for the first time in ages, and he's really strong, um, especially his tail whip. It's really fast, and it's really powerful. And he's getting, like, the model upgrade and everything. And he's getting a stance switch, too. And I honestly can't wait for it. I might actually become a Lambio main. Keyword might, because I say that a lot when, like, a dinosaur gets reworked. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna main this for sure, guys. And then I just, uh, don't. You know what? I want to. I want them to bring back Iguanodon's old running animation, where he just went on all fours, went, like, as fast as an Alioramus, and just hauled ass. And now he's got that wimpy little, like two-legged run it's so boring i i hope they bring it back like his tail would like fly in the air I'll, I'll see if i can find footage of it i'm sure i can i have an old video where i played iguanodon and he had that run animation it was it was so badass and now it's just been like wimpified i i hope they bring it back maybe like 
similar to Lambio, they could do like a stance switch for Iggy, so you can keep both run stances. That would be cool. Um, also, Wilderness Peak. This is my favorite place on this map. It's beautiful, honestly. The gray filter is just so nice. Drink up, Mr. Acro. You're gonna need it. It's important to stay hydrated as this guy, because, you know, if you've taken the amount of L's I've taken in this video, you're gonna wanna hydrate. Prevents against migraines, you know? Actually, I'm gonna go back here and collect some rocks. Actually, no, I'm not. I don't wanna collect as this guy. Takes too long. It's probably just quicker to grow normally. Huh. There's not much in here. It could actually be safe to go in here for once. How about that? So Quetz, I don't really want to fight that. They're very strong. Very agile too. There's a Yanano. I never see them anymore. Perhaps I could fight the Yanano. I'd be interested to see how that goes. Oh, oh my god. The Capro. Just... Bye, Dinonicus. <laughs> Wait, is he being friendly with them? Oh, you bastard. I wanted you to kill him. Why? Why wouldn't you? I might just make friends with this Capro and then squash him when I get a chance. Oh, okay, he just grabbed the Thalasso as well. It's a Dino. I don't want you here. Did you really just... I hope you wanted a taxi and weren't trying to attack me. That's what I thought. Bow down in submission. Hello, DB Dino. Whoa, frame stutter. Jesus. It's actually not a terrible skin. I could so squash this Yanano right now with my frenzy stomp. But I really like Yanano. He's so silly. I mean, like, look at him, right? Uh, he did a little shake shake. I like him. Oh, but the taco. I could literally just squash the taco and the packy, though. It's so free. It's literally so free. But he trusts me, and it's like, oh my god, the moral dilemma. Uh, fuck it, fuck it, do it for the content. Alright, the fight begins. Uh, don't fall off the thing. Just back up slowly. Uh, oh, I got a quest for that. Sweet. For killing the taco. That was so worth it, actually. Hold on, Tonanto. Oh, that's the belly drum. I gotta back up. He's super strong now. Huh. Interesting. He's on the run. I don't know if I can really catch him. Oh, wait. Yeah, Tanazo's my natural prey. Forgot about that. Um, I actually really hurt him. I can't chase him, though, I don't think. So... Yeah, he's too fast. I want to conserve my stamina. Um, oh, it seems like the rats are helping me, actually. I'm sorry, Inano. I, I really love you as a dinosaur. I do. Honest to God, I swear. Well, he's dead now. Oh, hey, Packy. <laughs> I guess the Capra's on my side, so, and the Quetz is helping me, too, so that's really good. Oh my God! Did you see that tail whip? Huh. Now, when this thing is fighting actual quality mods, like the Yanano, it's, uh, maybe not so bad. I mean, I'm sure a good Yanano could beat this thing. I also cheesed him because he was sitting. Come on, Capro, you could do it. I believe in you. Ugh, I'm fat and asthmatic. I'm gonna just take a seat. Hopefully the Quetz doesn't decide to betray me. Taco, Taco, don't do it. He did it. This mod, by the way, is super overpowered. It can tank so many fucking hits. Seems like our luck might be changing for the better. Oh, hey, there's a Rex. I'd be down to fight that. Looks like there's a Capro attacking him. We're gonna do a Capro event, by the way, guys. We're gonna be announcing the details in the Discord. So uh, join the Sastre Island Pesky Cord Discord if you want. Uh, link in the description. Yeah, let's fight this T-Rex. Maybe a Vanilla Rex will actually have a chance with. Hold up, he's he's a snoozer. He's snoozing, we might be able to cheese him as well. Oh, you poor motherfucker. Argent, 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 Argent. 
fuck off. Eh, don't hurt my friend. G get off your period, big boy. Big boy. That doesn't make sense. You know, something tells me this fucker can outstab me, so I'm just gonna keep my distance. I ain't no pike now. Man, that Rex really hauled ass away. I'm gonna haul ass too. Man, he really does not want to fight this Rex. It's too bad for him. Just conserve the stamina. Can I trot faster than him? Well, I run faster than him, that's for sure. I just don't want to fight him on low stamina, but it seems like that might be the only option. Time to roar. I don't want to fight him on low stamina, I say, as I roar and waste all my stamina. There we go. Oh, he's dead. I, I've just won. <laughs> Killed him with a punch. Goodbye. Uh, Vanilla Rex sucks. Still. People have said that he's good now. They've been like, trust me, dude. Vanilla Rex is really good because they gave him face time. No. <laughs> no, he's not. He's too slow to do anything. He turns bad and... Oh, hello, little taco. I fucking hate you and your guts. I don't trust that Lambio. This thing stands so slow. Holy shit, it's it's so bad. I know I said it like 18 times, but I don't know what they were thinking. Ah, uh, he's friendly though. And, uh, I don't like this mod, but I like his skin. I think I'm just gonna let him be, to be honest. <laughs> the Dynonic is cooling into the Quetz's chest. <laughs> That's funny. We've got a little squad here. This is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Come on, Argent. Use your brain. You, you actually thought I didn't see you? Lambie, are you friends with the Argent? I think he is. I think I'm gonna go for him. I'll go for the Tenanto, too. Come on, Lamb. You know you want to fight. Come on. Come on. Let's go. That's right. Come with me. To the fair 1v1 ground. Smack him in the face. Cool. Now we precise move behind him. We miss a bite. Cool. We land a bite. Very cool. We land another bite. Land another bite. Another bite. Oh, here comes Mr. Tenanto. How quaint. And Arjun's trying to corner us off. We got a capper helping, so that's super cool. We got two cappers helping. Good job, guys. I'm so sorry if I bit you there, Capro. I think I did. I think I hit both of them. Oh, Quetz is helping us too. Yeah, we've got a proper little mix pack going on here. It's only okay when I do it, as you know. Die, Lambio! Never mind. Now he's dead. There we go. Oops. Okay, we're good. Alright, yeah, that's an auto is done for. Maybe. Hopefully. This is Argent. There's not really much we can do about it, but unless we get stupid, there's not much he can do about us. So, touche. Come on, Tenno. You're my natural prey. Let me get a bite. Thank you. <gasps> no! He just got squashed! Well, not necessarily squashed, but all the bones in his body were shattered. R.I.P. Man. Oh, it's a PT Rex. With the Deinonychus. <laughs> this is like the one time I've been appreciative of a Deinonychus. Don't worry, you're friends with the Deinonychus. If you're friends with the Deinonychus, that means you're cool with me. No, 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 I I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Oh, he's he's going for the Argent. Okay. Um, not the smartest move, but I'll fucking try. I don't know what the cooldowns on this guy's stomp are, so... Come on, Tenno. Okay. Um, is the Rex gonna help? I, I have no idea where he went. So I'm assuming he's not. Oh, he's down there. Okay. If we could take out this Argent, that'd be great. Honestly, the Quet should just fly up and start pecking his head. Come on. I knew that was coming. Oh shit, okay, um, that, that's it, that's it, that's it. Okay, I'm calling it, I'm calling it. <sighs> I know, quits. They're a pain in the ass, ain't they? Thank you for being friendly to me for once. Usually, quits is just, you know, 
kind of stab me, and then I die because you know stab. Jolly Green Giant Eight. That's the Quetz. Oh my God! No wonder he's so friendly. I mean, he is jolly. He's not green, but he is a giant. I mean, he's in green grass, so. Or maybe he's from Green Hills. That's why he's called the Jolly Green Giant. You know, he has the opportunity to do the funniest thing right now and just stab me to death. I'm gonna put on my healing hide. Oh, there's a ping in the aisle discord. Aisle phase three. Oh joy, what could this be? Better not be anything on that fucking camera system that'll kill the game. Um, uh, I said I wasn't gonna say anything about that. As, as promised, here are the extra gifts for the Triceratops that weren't able to make it into the latest dev vlog on time. It's, it's, okay, it's just Triceratops wallowing, I guess. Um, this one won't load. Why won't you load? Was that one Trike sparring? Might be. Eh. Oh! You really are jolly. Thanks for the food, my guy. I will very much enjoy this feast. This Quetz is definitely one of those people you say, I didn't know they were chill like that, too. Oh, it's the Tananto. What do you know? Well, I am going to take off my healing hide. Hopefully nothing attacks me. Come on, come on, come on. Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. Nope, still not standing. Still not standing. Still getting ready to sleep. Now he's standing. Okay, okay. Put your, put your foot up. Get your feet up there. Come on, big guy. There we go. Oh, that's right, I forgot Quetz has Bone Break. No, I'm sorry, damn it! You gotta watch out, man. And I'm actually kinda keeping pace with this guy. I don't think I'm gonna catch him, though. It's up to Quetz to kinda slow him down for me. Unless he takes a really bad turn like that and lags backwards, ow. Wish this Tonanto mod was, like, not ugly. <sighs> Maybe, if I sit, I can bait him over. No, he just wants nothing to do with us. Okay. I think Quetz needs help here. Come on, lock him in, lock him in. Hit him. That's good. Come on, come on, fight me! Fight me head on, fight me like a man. I mean, I don't really blame you for running when your opponent's like twice as large, but you know. And I also just gotta wa- yeah, yeah, like that. I gotta dodge his tail whips. Because, um... I don't want to fall for the same strat I use on people when I play Pike now, where I just kind of run and just tail with them, and then before they know it, their health is gone. Oh my god, Th this guy is so laggy. It looks like a Rex and an Acro were working together to kill a Spinosaurus. What are you? Are you a Dino? You are? I don't think you could play this thing around me. There we go. Play a better mod. Play KTO Dino or something. Hey, buddy. You chill? I guess he is. I'm trying to invite him. He might be in the group of the Rex, though. Yes, I love you, too. What do we got here? We got a DB Giga. We got an Orca Rex. I don't really want to work with a Rex, not gonna lie. Um, actually, I lied. I want to take out the Edmonto. Come on, guys. Let's do it. Okay, I think we have the same idea. Yeah, yeah, they know. And, oh my god, it's the Joker. Holy fuck, it's Colin Trevorrow. We live in a society. Um, Rex, are you attacking these guys? Well, I'm gonna go for it. Oh, thank god I dodged that. Oh my god! Wait. Wait, are you... No. No. You're friends with them? I thought we were gonna go into war there. Pfft, you guys are lame. Never group with randoms in this game. Unless they're Jolly Green Giant ate the Quetz. So this Tenanto's still at it. My god, this has just been a never-ending struggle. He really doesn't like that we murdered his friends and family. Mildly overreactive, if I do say so myself. Look how fast he collects. And look at me. <laughs> Night and day difference here. This game's really pretty. Even at night, when the lighting's not as good, it still is nice to look at. It's got a very distinct style. Oh, that's an Akilobator. I don't trust that. And that is a Cryptops. I don't trust that either. Oh, I really don't trust this. We got a Cryptops, and second Cryptops, 
and a Dimetrodon, and two more Cryptops. No, one more Cryptops and a Metri. That's not very fun. Okay, I'm just gonna... Yeah, they want me. They want me. Oh, no. Or do I want them? I could totally instigate right here and cause my death, but... No, no, no. Yup, I figured it. I figured as much. Oh, they broke each other! Alright. To the cliffside! Come on, Jolly Green. Let's go. Alright, where's the charge? Where's the charge? Where's the charge? Where's the charge? There it is. Come on, Jolly... Oh, Jolly Green's flying away. Okay. Oh, the Akilo is helping me. That's great. The Tail Whip. Just keep running, keep running. That thing's so strong, goddamn. I love Cryptops. The only bad thing is it's a uh, DB mod, so, you know. <laughs> Fine. You want to do this? Tank me. There we go. Get him, Jolly Green. He's almost dead. D I thought he was going to let himself take a hit there. Come on, Metri. Come on. Alright, time for me to go in. I think I hit him there. Uh-oh. Tail whip him in the face! Come on. Yes! Got him! Let's go! This is what you get for messing with the Quetzcrocanthosaurus. I'm never gonna say that again! And we got the Capro scavenging. <laughs> Average Capro. I love it. Alright, Demetro. That's right, get out of here. Uh-oh. Oh, that was actually good. Good precise movement on my end. He's sleeping. Oh, no. He's standing now. Yeah, we're kind of showing these guys. They thought they were hot shit. I'm warming up to the acro, I will say. This has been a little bit of a character arc here. This has been fun. Just gonna keep pushing these guys. I want them to fight me. Yeah, I think they're getting a little comfortable now. They're trying to- that guy's trying to go around. Why does he have, like, a triangular face? What's wrong, guys? Playing on mobile? That's what I'm gonna guess. <laughs> oh, is that the one I killed? I think it is. He teleported back to his buddy. Alright, that's fine. I'll take you on again. I'll kill you again. And you know, the funny thing is, I feel like they're leading me into a trap. But I'm totally cool with that. Nice, nice hit. Don't peck. Thank you. Oh, damn, he's good at not friendly firing. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on. This guy's bleeding hard. If I keep pushing him, he may just die. I'm gonna go for you. You're not paying attention. Okay, he's just AFK, cool. Totally down to kill this. I will disrespect them like that. Ooh, nice! Slammed him! This is getting bad, though. I am less than half health. The Metro, I can't really do much about. He's actually saying that. The Metro does have bad stamina. So, maybe if we keep up pressure. Come on, he's gotta be low soon, right? Someone got bone broken. Not sure if it was, uh... Oh, what? That didn't hit you? Really? Come on! <gasps> no! No! Jolly Green! Oh my god, they got him. I probably shouldn't have focused that Dimetrodon. I, I thought he could handle himself, I'm not gonna lie. Oh no! Oh, you pulled your weight well, buddy. Alright, I won't stand for this. I'm fighting these guys till I'm fucking dead. We gotta avenge him. Oh, that's so sad. I can't believe that. I heard the bone break and I was like, eh, it's the Cryptop, so he's probably stupid enough to get hit by Quest's bone break. Alright guys, come on. But you're too afraid. You clearly haven't held your head high to the heavens. You clearly don't play football either. I'm so upset that we lost him. We should probably hold a funeral in his name. Here you go. A flower. For him. 
So he's reborn. I guess. I, I'm not really sure how that would work entirely. And I guess I'll eat him so he doesn't rot. So he's a part of my acro. His soul will live on in me. I hear that Metri healing his little butt buddies over there. wonder why that one Cryptops I killed was AFK. He was like moving around and then just in the middle of a fight he decides, hmm, I'm gonna just stand here. Oh, look who it is. Hey guys. Oh, Metri's dead. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Alright, let's turn. Save the stomp for a dire moment. Now it's a dire moment! Yes! <sighs> Alright. This is how we end. How it ends, though. Up. Uh, dimes above us. That's not good. Look at him, he's trying to micro-movement me. That's not funny. Oh, I'm bleeding really bad. Come on, I can at least take out that guy, right? This is how it ends, fellas. Stomp! 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 Damn. Damn. Well, you know, we did really well there. Especially considering our low health. <sighs> Alright. A lot of deaths later. Have we finally, uh... Finally got this guy rolling? I think we have. I think he agrees. I'm warming up to it, I will say. Um, I think his animations could use improvements. I think some of these subspecies, like uh, this guy, are totally out of line being on an acro because it's like, again, you can't identify it too well. What's the point of it being an acro? Like, this is fine, I guess. It's still, you know, it's way overly edgy for me. It's just, you know, it, it's still an acro though, so, but like, and you get stuff like, uh, like this one, and it's like, again, not an acro, what's the point? And that's not to say that the model shapes are necessarily bad, but it's just like, I don't know. There's already Giga and Kark mods and stuff like that, so, yeah, I don't know. Overall, this was a fun, uh, fun dinosaur to test out. Uh, Capro's up next, fellas, so, uh, until then, take care. Be sure to subscribe.